Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain my paparazzi. This movie tells the story of a gangster who wants to be a tenor singer in South Korea. Can he make his dream come true? Let's find out in My Paparazzi. My Paparazzi is allegedly based on the real-life story of Kim Ho Jong, a South Korean opera singer. The film begins by showing a man named Song Jin driving his car to Ginchon Arts High School, where he teaches as a music teacher. An unexpected incident befell him when he accidentally crashes into the bumper of a luxury car driven by a young man. Song Jin then apologizes and is willing to compensate, but the young man doesn't seem to care, and instead, intends to confiscate Song Jin's car which was playing classical music through the audio device in the vehicle. After the unpleasant incident, Song Jin finally arrives at the school and meets Principal Doc Song, who tells him that their school will have a transfer student who is quite talented and Song Jin is asked to guide him. When Doc Song brings Song Jin together with the new student named Jong Ho, how shocked Song Jin is when he finds out that Jong Ho is a young man who owns a luxury car who intended to confiscate his car. Jong Ho apparently changes schools a lot because he often causes trouble at school. Moreover, he is also known as a gangster who is quite respected. Since Jong Ho entered Gimchon Arts High School to take classical music lessons, the principal then asked Song Jin to test Jong Ho's vocal abilities. However, before the test starts, Jong Ho receives an urgent phone call that requires him to leave immediately. Jong Ho says goodbye in an impolite manner, so Song Jin advises him to respect the teachers by being polite, but he seems to ignore it and walks away. On his way home, Song Jin is approached by Doc Song who persuades him to train Jong Ho. Seeing his impolite attitude and his background as a delinquent, Song Jin persists in his stance, never wanting to teach delinquent students. Even so, Doc Song continues to persuade him that Song Jin has no choice but to comply with the principal's request who is also his best friend. The next morning, two teacher representatives who stood guard in front of the school seemed to scold a student named So Ke and her friend who violated the school dress code. However, the two teachers ignore Jong Ho who comes to school smoking a cigarette as he is being escorted by gangsters. In music class, Song Jin doesn't give Jong Ho a chance to show off his vocal skills, and when Jong Ho gets into an argument with some bad boys who try to bully him, he scolds Jong Ho and hits the boy on the head with books. From then on, Jong Ho never came to school again. Principal Doc Song, who really cares about Jong Ho then asks Song Jin to persuade him, so that he wants to go back to school. The next day, Song Jin goes to Jong Ho's apartment, which is not far from his house to pick him up to return to school. At Jong Ho's apartment, he meets the thugs who seem to respect Song Jin so much because he is Jong Ho's teacher. While at school, Song Jin apparently still refuses to teach Jong Ho because he's a delinquent student. So Jong Ho questions why Song Jin picked him up if he doesn't want to teach him. Although they often fight and openly show that they don't like each other, Song Jin and Jong Ho have one thing in common, they both have stubborn characters. Despite his status as a high school student, Jong Ho still continues his activities as a gangster at night. One night, Jong Ho gets into a fight at a nightclub and has to be taken to the police station. After learning that Jong Ho is a Gimchon Arts High School student, the police then contact Song Jin as the homeroom teacher to resolve the issue. Song Jin then asks him why a delinquent would bother going to school when you don't need a diploma to be a criminal. Jong Ho insists that he entered art school because he likes singing. He asks why Song Jin always looks down on him, even though he's never heard of his vocal abilities. Song Jin acts this way because he thinks Jong Ho is just a bad boy who gets into trouble. Song Jin then invites Jong Ho to his house to meet Song Jin's wife and son. His wife seemed to warmly welcome Jong Ho's presence at their house. Afterwards, Song Jin asks Jong Ho to sing while accompanying him on the piano. When he started singing, Song Jin seemed to be hypnotized by his angelic voice, which was so melodious and serene that he was so immersed in the singing and the piano's melody that was so beautiful. After Jong Ho finishes the song, Song Jin just walks away without saying a word. Meanwhile, Jong Ho looks overjoyed at having managed to keep Song Jin from moving with his very melodious voice. After that, Jong Ho meets Chang So, a gangster who is quite influential in his group and considered as his own older brother. Excitedly, Jong Ho tells about Song Jin who was so mesmerized after hearing his singing. While he was at Song Jin's house, Song Jin's wife complimented Jong Ho's beautiful voice and asked Song Jin to acknowledge Jong Ho's excellent vocal abilities. The next day, Song Jin is shocked to learn that Jong Ho was enrolled in an inter-school music competition and demands an explanation from the principal. But Doc Song instead asks Song Jin to train Jong Ho and guide him to prepare for his first competition. As Song Jin quietly observes Jong Ho practicing vocals, he hears Jong Ho getting a call from the gangsters telling him that the big boss wants to meet with Jong Ho. The scene then flashes back to when Jong Ho first met Big Boss and was offered to join his gang after Jong Ho beat several of his men to a pulp. 
because Zhang Ho no longer has a family after his grandmother died and lives alone. He accepts the offer. Under Chang So's tutelage, Zhang Ho begins his life as a gangster. However, Chang So warns that the life of gangsters is not easy, and their lives will always be in danger and a time and anywhere. He still doesn't change his mind despite knowing that death is the only way out of the gangster world. Competition day arrived. Zhang Ho has already prepared himself by practicing vocals and wearing a fancy suit. Even so, Zhang Ho fails in his first competition. He looked very annoyed and frustrated because he was so confident that he could win the competition. Song Jin then goes to him, who is lamenting his loss by drinking saju, and makes fun of him, especially for his ridiculous-looking fancy suit. Zhang Ho is annoyed, then begs Song Jin to teach him to sing better so he can win the competition. Seeing Zhang Ho's earnestness and determination, he finally melted and was willing to teach Zhang Ho. As a first step, Song Jin tells Zhang Ho to quit smoking so that his vocal cords don't get damaged. After making up his mind to practice vocals harder, he also attends school diligently, obeying school rules and being more polite to everyone. Song Jin finally gives him a chance to sing in his class. Even though he is very good at singing, Zhang Ho can't read musical notes. Knowing this, Sokat takes the initiative to teach him to read musical notes with a fun memorization technique. Since then, their relationship has become closer. During the next music class, Zhang Ho also shows his studies with Sok Hae and is now able to read musical notes. Not long after, Principal Doc Song informs Song Jin that Zhang Ho will enter the Sejong Music Competition, one of the most prestigious music competitions in South Korea. Song Jin disapproves of the principal's decision because he doesn't think Zhang Ho is ready. But Doc Song is sure that Zhang Ho can win the competition so that Gimchon Arts High School will be more respected in the eyes of the public. Due to constant pressure from Doc Song, he couldn't help but obey. Song Jin then goes to Zhang Ho and inquires about his ability to enter the competition. Since the Sejong Music Competition is a competition for musicians who are still amateurs, Zhang Ho firmly declares his ability, and he intends to sing the song Nessun Dorma in this competition. Song Jin doubts Zhang Ho's abilities, but he persists in singing the famous song for having a fairly high level of difficulty, because it has its own memories in his life. Apparently, when he was little, Zhang Ho had participated in a singing competition and managed to come out the winner. Zhang Ho has gifted a CD along with the CD player. When he first heard it, the song that played was Ness and Dorma, and since then, Zhang Ho really liked the song. When his grandmother died, he was the only one who felt sad. However, when the famous singer Lucio Pavarotti passed away, everyone mourned his death, and played Ness and Dorma everywhere. Since then, Zhang Ho has dreamed of becoming a famous singer like Pavarotti and singing the song Ness and Dorma on a grand stage to be known by many people. Hearing this, Song Jin began to train Zhang Ho with a strict upbringing. Even so, Zhang Ho still strives to improve his vocal skills and form his own distinctive singing style. Sok Hae remains loyal and helps Zhang Ho to train harder. On the other hand, Zhang Ho's relationship with Song Jin and his family is getting closer so they seem like one happy family. Problems began to arise when Zhang Ho was called by Big Boss and was beaten badly because the young man often neglected his duties. After getting beaten up by Big Boss, Zhang Ho tells Chang So that he's going to a competition and has given up smoking to maintain his voice. The next day, Song Jin learns that Zhang Ho was beaten last night after the bruises on the young man's body. Out of pity, he goes to the big boss and begs the man to let Zhang Ho out of his gangster ties so that the young man can focus more on his schooling and career as a singer. He even offers big boss one leg for Zhang Ho's freedom. But big boss ignored him and chased the man away. The next day, while practicing vocals, Zhang Ho receives a call from his gangster group. Song Jin is instantly angry that Zhang Ho is still on the call. The man doesn't want Zhang Ho to waste his life becoming a gangster, because he is a talented young man and can become a better person in the eyes of society. Zhang Ho actually doesn't want to be a gangster either, but he feels indebted to Chang So, the only person who shows genuine concern when he is in the worst situation in his life. Zhang Ho is angry, because he thinks Song Jin can't understand this, then he decides to drop out of school. Zhang Ho then meets Chang So, where the man tells Zhang Ho to continue his studies and not waste his life being a delinquent. Chang So then tells about Song Jin's arrival some time ago who begged Big Boss for Zhang Ho's freedom. One night, Chang So's group clashes with another gangsters. Then Chang So gets seriously injured, so the members contact Zhang Ho to save the man. Zhang Ho immediately came and beat their opponent. On the way to the hospital, Chang So again advises Zhang Ho to stay in school and pursue his dreams. After that, Chang So breathed his last. Zhang Ho seems to have lost his will to live because the only person who cared about him is gone. Song Jin attends the funeral and meets with Zhang Ho who asks what his chances are of becoming a famous singer like Pavarotti. Song Jin says that Zhang Ho's ability is far greater than him. Even Song Jin feels very jealous of him who has a very sweet voice. 
Hearing this, Zhang Ho hugged Song Jin and apologized with tears in his eyes. After that, Zhang Ho met Big Boss and expressed his desire to pursue his dream of becoming a singer. Seeing the sincerity of Zhang Ho who prefers to continue singing even if he has to die, Big Boss finally considers this, and says that Zhang Ho must be able to fulfill his dream within 10 years, and if he fails, then Song Jin will be killed. Since then, Zhang Ho has started to focus on his vocal training and singing again with the help of Song Jin and So Ke. Towards the day of the competition, Principal Doc Song told him to give his best in tomorrow's competition. Doc Song also tells him that Song Jin also participated in the Sejong music competition when he was young and won it. Song Jin's musical career continues to soar overseas. However, when he was at the peak of his glory, Song Jin was sentenced to have a tumor on his vocal cords, so his career and dreams was instantly destroyed. At that time, Song Jin was about to sing the song Ness and Dorma. That's why deep down, Song Jin has high hopes for Zhang Ho. The day of the competition arrived and everyone seemed to have filled the hall to watch the most prestigious music competition. However, on the way to the race venue, Zhang Ho was confronted by the thugs who fought Chang So's group some time ago. Zhang Ho is beaten to a pulp, but he doesn't fight back because he has promised Song Jin to leave the life of a gangster. Meanwhile, Song Jin looks worried that Zhang Ho hasn't come. When the competition is over, Zhang Ho shows up battered. When the man scolds him, Zhang Ho says he didn't fight the assailants for trying so hard to protect his stomach so he can sing well. Hearing this, Song Jin pleads with the judges to let Zhang Ho appear on stage, even though he won't be judged because it's too late. The jurors reject Song Jin's request, but the man persists in his pleas, causing quite a stir there. Seeing the teacher fiercely defending him, Zhang Ho immediately went on stage and sang the song Ness and Dorma. The judges and the audience who saw Zhang Ho's performance seemed so fascinated by Zhang Ho's very melodious voice, especially after being accompanied by the strains of the piano played by Song Jin. After the incident, Song Jin goes to great lengths to help Zhang Ho make his dream come true. Song Jin even enlisted the help of one of his friends in Italy to help Zhang Ho start his career as a singer there. Although, at first Zhang Ho refused to go to Italy because he didn't want to leave his teacher. Song Jin managed to convince him to go to Italy and achieve his dream of becoming a famous singer. Before leaving, they seem to be singing a song together to the accompaniment of the piano. Zhang Ho also says goodbye to So Kei and thanks the girl for helping him all this time. Song Jin then escorts Zhang Ho off to the airport, where the two part with tears in their eyes. Zhang Ho pays tribute to the teacher who was so sincere in educating him and sacrificed everything to realize his dream. Seven years later, Zhang Ho is now a famous singer and holds a solo concert in South Korea. Song Jin and his family are seen attending Zhang Ho's concert with Principal Doc Song. Before singing, Zhang Ho told a little about the teacher's struggles who were never gave up to educate him and help him achieve his dreams. The film ends, with the beauty of Zhang Ho's voice along with everyone's happiness. In fact, my paparazzi presents the story of the struggle in realizing a dream, despite having to experience various trials and obstacles. Even though he looks grim and impolite, Zhang Ho turns out to have a hidden talent as a singer, and destiny leads him to Song Jin, a music teacher who is very strict but willing to sacrifice to help his students achieve success. Throughout the film, we will be shown the changes in the attitude of Song Jin and Zhang Ho who used to fight and hate each other a lot, but eventually become caring for each other like a real family. Zhang Ho never gave up his dream of becoming a singer, even though he was a delinquent.